A tornado was seen tearing across a roadway in Florida on Wednesday before Hurricane Milton made landfall. Tornadoes were also spotted in other areas of the state throughout the day. As of Wednesday evening, three Florida offices of the National Weather Service had issued a total of 133 tornado warnings. The Miami and Tampa offices issued 49 warnings each, while Melbourne had 35. Hurricane Milton made landfall Wednesday along Florida's Gulf Coast as a Category 3 storm, bringing powerful winds, deadly storm surge and potential flooding to much of the state. Hurricane Milton has crashed into Florida as a Category 3 storm, pounding the coast with ferocious winds of over 100 mph and the hurricane has also spawned multiple tornadoes across the state, serving as dangerous warnings of Milton's arrival. The cyclone had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour when it roared ashore in Siesta Key, Florida, at 8.30 p.m., the Miami-based National Hurricane Center said. The hurricane was bringing deadly storm surge to much of Florida's Gulf Coast, including densely populated areas such as Tampa, St. Petersburg, Sarasota and Fort Myers. The hurricane was downgraded to a Category 2 storm as it moved through Florida later Wednesday evening. It was expected to remain a hurricane as it crosses the Florida Peninsula Thursday before emerging in the Atlantic Ocean. Due south I-75, tornado in progress. Large tornado in progress, west-northwest of the Miccosukee Service Plaza off I-74. Large tornado in progress. A team of people from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration are seen in the fuselage of a WP-3D Orion aircraft to collect data on for hurricane research. The video, posted on X, by the NOAA Aircraft Operations Center included a caption noting the bumpy ride into Hurricane Milton, the team can be seen sitting in their seats as they try to remain stable in the turbulence that the plane is going through alongside equipment that is used to collect data. Yeah. 